And also tonight, Aurora City Council votes to ban TikTok and similar China based apps. It applies to all city issue devices and also personal devices that connect with city networks. And this amid many lawmakers calling for a nationwide ban on TikTok due to security concerns with the Chinese ownership of this app. But as our Rob Harris shows us, there are many people using TikTok to build their businesses and careers. And now they watch and wait as all of that could disappear overnight. And then we have an additional bedroom here, pretty massive one, bathroom, laundry, and plenty of storage down here as well. Andrew Vasquezano's day job is in real estate. Your hardwood floors here. He entered the field in 2020, and the Colorado market has been hot, and the competition's been steep. The first couple of years of it were honestly a little rough, trying to get the business going, trying to get the clientele. So I'm like, let's start posting on, on TikTok. It's been a game changer. And now it's one of his main focuses every single day. It's been unreal for my business. I'd say probably 60, 70% of my clients right now are coming from TikTok. The neighborhood itself was developed during the 1950s. Vasquezano's videos range from ads of the homes he's showing to advice for new home buyers to fun things to do around Colorado. He now has more than 36,000 followers and his videos have more than 1.4 million likes. When you start as a real estate agent, do you ever think you're going to get that kind of exposure? No. No, it's honestly, it's sometimes, you know, you just look at those numbers and you're just like, yeah, it's just, a, it's, you know, it's a number. But then when you try to picture like 36,000 people, like that kind of reaches is just insane. Vasquezano is not alone. According to TikTok, more than 150 million Americans are on the app. So that's basically half the country and nearly 5 million businesses now use it as their preferred platform to expand their brand. But the opposition is growing too. Senator Michael Bennett is one of the politicians who's calling for a ban on the app, and he told us last week that at least 27 states have now instituted either a partial or a complete ban. So then what happens to you, do you think, if there is some sort of nationwide ban on TikTok? Uh, I mean, it would be rough. Like I said, 60-70% of my clients right now are coming from there. So to just shut that pipeline off, I mean, that's, that's severing a major artery of my business, so that would... That hurt. You know, I hope we just kind of decide maybe there's some sweeping privacy policy that relates to all the social media platforms, not just TikTok. Well, I got some good news for you if you're looking to buy a house in 2023. You know, a video you post, you, it takes you 10 seconds to post it. You get half a million views, half a million people look at your video. For Denver 7, like that's insanity. I'm Rob Harris. Aurora is just the latest local government to take aim at TikTok. The city and county of Denver announced an app ban on city owned devices at the beginning of February. And going deeper here, federal lawmakers are planning to move forward with legislation to ban TikTok. In a tweet, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says the legislation will address national security concerns and protect Americans data from Chinese government access. And here are three bills making their way through Congress addressing TikTok right now. First, the Data Act that would give President Biden more authority to ban and that app. The anti-social CCP Act would ban TikTok operations in the U.S. And then the Restrict Act would give the Department of Commerce more power over information communications that pose undue risk. And here's another perspective. New York Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez came out against the ban. She's saying that Congress should focus instead on protecting the data of people who use all social media. And she's also calling for more transparency and taking her message to the platform itself with this video on Saturday. But frankly, I think a lot of this is putting the cart before the horse because our first priority should be in protecting your ability to exist without social media companies harvesting and commodifying every single piece of data about you without you and without your consent. During last week's congressional hearing, TikTok CEO Sho Chu said TikTok is committed to moving U.S. data onto U.S. soil where American personnel can oversee it. 